Hey guys, I'm finally back with another video and sorry I didn't make any video sooner because the month of May it was very hectic. I went to USA, I went to Canada, then I came back from a holiday, I worked here for one week and then I had I have to straight go to uh, China. I went to Qingdao for business trips so I'm finally back here in Holland and uh, last month it was so hectic that I was in one month I was in in three continents I was in Europe then I was in America and then I was in Asia and uh, three different time zones it was very difficult very hard for my body I couldn't adjust at the at the last time in Asia I couldn't adjust it was so difficult and it was a big struggle it was a big business struggle that I have business trip struggle but I'm luckily I'm back and yeah so in this video I want to share with you my USA and Canada haul. So my trip was to New York. My initially plan was to go to New York for 10 days, but many people said 10 days is way too much for New York. Yeah, you can see New York in four or five days and that is just enough. So so I've talked with my friends. I went to with two friends to America. Um yeah, and uh, we talk about it and one friend she, she, uh, suggested us to go to Toronto because she has a cousin living in Toronto. So we booked our tickets to Toronto and we went, uh, we went over there. So in Toronto we only stayed for the weekend, three days and, I was, and we did also shopping. We went to the outlet, premium outlet mall. I believe the, uh, in Toronto they have two outlets, one is the regular and one is the pre premium where they have the higher end brand. So we went to that one and I will show you what I purchased in the Toronto outlet outlet mall. Outlet mall. So the first thing that I purchased is this sweater by Calvin Klein. Uh, it is very it is very inexpensive in Canada and also in the United States to purchase Calvin Klein because this is an American brand so my my initially plan was if I go if I gonna shop in America in the United States and in Canada, I don't want to I don't want to buy European brands such as Louis Vuitton, Chanel, uh, Gucci, uh, Hermes. Wow, it's so difficult. Um, so my plan was to purchase American brands such as Calvin Klein. So Calvin Klein in Holland is quite expensive for a sweater like this. You're gonna pay around 100 euros. But I purchased this in the outlet mall and they had also kind of still going on. So in the end I paid, if I convert it, I paid around 40 euros for this sweater. And I bought it in the white color because I already have two black one and I already have a gray one so the white color is still missing so I have it now and I'm very pleased that I have this sweater then I went to Levi's I know Levi's is quite popular especially the uh, the jeans and in many videos that I did the outfit of the day I featured with my boiler skin jacket and many people said oh Danny can you do please outfit of the day video uh, compare you uh, compared with border skin let take with um, Levi's jeans but I said to many people sorry guys I don't have Levi jeans so I can't do that for you but when I was in the United States and Canada I went to the Levi's store and I tried it on but I tried so many jeans but the fit or the material is it's it doesn't appeal me so in the end, I tried so many jeans, but I didn't purchase any jeans uh, from Levi's. But what I what I do purchase is two t-shirts, and the t-shirts are the very, very popular t-shirt now nowadays. So I purchased this um, gray t-shirt with the Levi logo, and I purchased also this black one. So this together, it, they had a great deal. Um, it, it was either like buy this and get this one for free, or by two one for a special price because on the tag it says 30 uh, Canadian dollar and I I know that I didn't pay 30 for one t-shirt so I believe I know uh, the price in euros 
because I remember that when I did the conversion it was like 12 euro for one t-shirt so I think it was around around 30 Canadian dollar and yeah plus tax oh guys tax in Toronto is insane I believe it's either 10% or 15% it was extremely high if you compare it to uh, New York so that is what I purchased and then that is I believe that is everything that I purchased in Toronto outlet mall mm. I purchased also this uh, cap um, because this is like my souvenir every time I go to another city another country I try to get some cap with the with the city I'm um, visiting or the country that I'm visiting so I purchased this uh, Toronto and Canada uh, just like a souvenir it's not that I can't, I'm gonna use this cap for daily daily basis but it's just like a souvenir for, for me because I have also from New York I have from, I have from Nice, Cannes, everywhere where I go to I want to have like a cap of that country or that city that I'm visiting and okay that is that Canada hall so we went back to Un uh, United States to New York and we also went to the Woodsbury outlet mall and we took the bus, a shuttle bus from New York uh, downtown to the Woodsbury. And what did I buy? Oh. Also, I forgot to mention that I also went to Tommy Hilfiger in the outlet mall of Toronto and I purchased this um, pullover because I already have this kind of pullover, this color, but I put it in the washing machine and it has shrunk a lot so I can't wear it anymore so uh, I repurchased it and this is 65 Canadian dollar but I th I thought I didn't pay that much I believe if I converted it maybe I purchased uh, paid around 40 45 euros so that is the yeah the sweater that I purchased by Tommy Hilfiger okay that is like everything that I purchased in Canada so back to United States in Woodsbury I went to Woodsbury Outlet Mall it is I believe it's one hour drive by the bus so yeah in Woodsbury I also went to Tom Hilfiger and they have also this sweater it's, it's really the same like the other one that I just showed you and this one has a crazy crazy discount I saw this and it has like 70% discount so uh, this was like 70 uh, US dollar but they had like 70% discount so I believe if I converted I paid around 20 euros it's like like a bargain then I also went to Polaroid Lounge because I will want to buy a lot of shirts because I work in the office sometimes I really want to dress nicely not only t-shirt or or, or or sweater because I really want to wear a shirt and I do have some shirts but they are long sleeve and in sometimes it is too hot in the office I don't really want to have like long sleeve so I really want to buy short sleeves so I went to the polar of flower because I know it's very inexpensive very cheap over there so I went to the store and I saw this color this color shirt short sleeve so I was like okay let me try it on I tried on it looks good on my body and then I saw the price they had like a special price also sale um, on here it says 60 US dollar but I can't believe I paid 60 I believe maybe I paid 40 or they had like 30% discount so uh, it looks good on my body and it has like extra discount so I purchased it immediately but then I saw another color, this one, I tried it on and it looks also great, so I purchased again. Oh. And then I saw this color in the gray color, I thought, oh my god, do I really need three shirts of the same model? But they are all different colors, so I tried it on, it looks also great, purchased three shirts by Polo Ralph Lauren. And then... I went, I don't have the bag with me because I gave it to my sister-in-law. She was asking me if I could go to the coach because she really wants to have a coach back um, because uh, she's she's from Thailand and in Asia, Thailand, Asia, 
coach bag are very popular and she also won't have a coach bag so at first I went to the 5th, 6th, no, 5th Avenue, the big coach store and I did the face, live FaceTiming with her and few all, um, filming all the bags but she's, uh, she, there was no bag that, that she really liked so I, uh, she says she will think about it then I went to the outlet mall, they've also coach store over there and did also the face timing and she saw one bag um, the small bag with the pink and monogram on the front and some flowers and she was really in love with that bag and um, I said to her it is 380 US dollar and she said oh that's really cheap uh, can you please purchase it for me I said okay it's, I will purchase that for you and in the end um, later on I saw uh, uh, um, uh, a promo card board and it said entire store I believe entire store it was 70% discount and as told that it is 70% discount so it is only 160 US dollar and she was mad she was it was madness for her she was wow it, it can't be that that cheap and so and she was very happy with the bag is it is coach that she want and it's the price is very cheap and it is really unbelievable. She she can't believe it. It is that it, it is that cheap in United States. So um, in coach, I also bought a, a bracelet. If you can see, so I saw this place uh, bracelet and I thought, okay, it's really nice bracelet. It it reminds me of the Cartier love bracelet, but I really want that bracelet. But it's you know expensive, so I. I'm not gonna pay 2,000 euros for a bracelet, so I thought let me uh, let me try this on. So I tried this on on the store in the store, and I want to uh, um, yeah I want to pair it with my Rolex watch. And in the store it looks very great. It's very shiny, and I, I love that look. And and also it has like 70% discount, and I purchased it. So it is only. I believe it's only. I, I did uh, this bracelet. It was 90 US dollar in the outlet, and then 70% discount, and it was maybe 20, 25 US dollar. So it was really, really inexpensive. Then I went to Dior. I went there and I called my mom. Hey mom, do you want something from Dior because they have a little bit of sale? And she, she said to me, uh, can you check for me some kind of clutch evening bag because she's always mentioning she wants an evening bag but she can't find any nice one or not too expensive one. And I went there and I saw this small um, clutch bag I believe. Uh, it is, yeah, I don't know how you call it but it is... Uh, clutch but it's like built-in wallet so you have a zipper where you where you can put your coins inside but you have also like credit card slots and you have also a big chain to put it on your shoulder so um, I, it was 40% discount and it was 500 I believe it was 500 US dollar or 500 600 US dollars so it was really inexpensive I bought it that from my mother and I hope she's happy with that. So I, I don't have it with me, but I, I, I already gave it to her. But she hasn't worn it yet. But I think when it's the next party, um, gathering party with all the Asian women, I think she's gonna gonna wear that back. And then, guys, I also went to Tom Ford because because you know Tom Ford. I really like the brand, but Tom Ford is so overpriced here in Europe. The price is ridiculous. Um, um, if you can see the size of the box, I bought a pair of sneakers, and this is the uh, sneakers that I purchased. Oh my god, guys, this is the sneakers that I purchased. So this is the brown leather sneakers, and if you if you follow me for a long time, you know that I already have these sneakers in full suede in grey one and I had also great bargain on that sneakers but this one is also quite a bargain so if you can see on the box it is 890 890 US dollar 
but they had sale on this um, the uh, the outlet price I, I don't know I can't remember it was maybe 400 US dollar outlet price and then additional 40% discount so it came around 250 I believe 250 uh, US dollar for this pair of sneakers and it's full leather and in my size I was like okay it's sign of God to purchase the sneakers and voila I did I have the sneakers and I have worn it it's a couple of times so guys this is not brand new for the haters out there it is not brand new anymore but I purchased this in the United States in the outlet center so I also purchased it in the size 6 so guys it's really hot in my room okay guys that is everything that I purchased in the outlet and then I went to my friends really want to go to Uniqlo it's the Japanese uh, store compare um, uh, almost the same like the H&M but the Japanese version of that and they really want to have a look at the at the clothes at the my friends really want to buy pants I believe I can't remember so we went in there at the at the fifth avenue I believe that is the flagship store and you Uni know uh, we don't have Uniqlo in the Netherlands oh they have now I believe they opened Recently, recently they opened a store in Amsterdam. But anyways, when I went to Amst uh, when I went to New York, the the store wasn't open. So uh, we went there, and Uniqlo is not really my type of store because yeah, it's really Japanese style, and I don't really like that. But I was walking through by, and I saw a big poster with Uniqlo collaboration. With J.W. Anderson. I thought, okay, let me check the collection because maybe J.W. Anderson. I've heard it about it, uh, about this brand designer, but I, I I didn't know really the what kind of style he has. So I was checking the item and I saw this uh, bomber jacket, uh, J.W. Anderson, and when I saw the price, I was like ridiculous cheap. I was like. How can it be that cheap? It is Uniqlo with the JW Anderson. At least I thought it will be 100 or 150 US dollar. But when I saw the price tag, it was only 59 and 59.90 cent for this uh, bomber jacket. And I tried on, and it looks very great. I did also the 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 poll on Instagram when I. Uh, when I was in New York, I said to people, should I buy this? And I believe 80 or 75 percent uh, uh, said yes. So I purchased it and it's also very cheap, 60, 60 US dollar. So if you convert it plus the tax, uh, it was maybe 60 euros or 55 euros from Bombajack. So you can't go wrong with this. And this, and this also <coughs> collaborated with JW Anderson, as you can see, is the tag, and also on the in on the inside they have also big leather tab on here. You can see JW Anderson. Oh, finally! I went through all the items that I purchased in United States and Canada. So, guys. That is a wrap. Um, that is the video. That's the item that I purchased. Not really exciting. Not really high, high, high end brands. A few of them, like Tom Ford, Dior. But yeah, um, that is my whole video. And guys, I really want to say I really like Toronto because Toronto is. I think Toronto is like Europe. But American version of it. So, if I could say I could live in Toronto, but when I think back about my trip, I also really like New York. So I think I really want to go back to New York. I don't know why the vibe, the everything about. Also, they have also really great supermarket. I went to the Columbus. They have on the Columbus in New York. They have the whole the whole supermarket, and in the supermarket you can buy like. Um, you can buy the sushi um, 
freshly made you can buy the uh, chicken already made already prepared everything you can purchase everything of there and eat it in, uh, in the supermarket it's really amazing and also in every product you have the calories and the macros everything is really amazing so I really want to go back to New York maybe in the autumn autumn season of this year maybe I will go back to New York but we shall see but yeah guys this is my um, haul I hope you liked this video and um, in my next video I have another haul I purchased something and I will show you that and uh, yeah I'm glad I'm back on YouTube and I will see you next time I just Bye. wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you